Hello everyone, I am Narg Survivor. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this one, I'm going to be talking about why the narcissist wants to keep you silent. If that sounds good to you, please give the video a thumbs up down below. Hit subscribe and click all notifications to be notified when I upload a new video. If you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me, just go to my website, it is narcsurvivor.co.uk. This is why the narcissist wants to keep you silent. They want to keep you silent. They want to keep you speechless, wordless, and voiceless. Where you are not communicating or expressing your thoughts and feelings. Which is why they will counteract anything that you're trying to accomplish. They will act against it in order to reduce its force and neutralize it. They will run smear campaigns. They will do whatever it takes to shut you down. They're not willing to have a formal discussion or an exchange of views because they're hiding something. While people who have knowledge and experience are willing to debate. They're willing to accept a challenge, but narcissists won't, because they're dishonest, so they cannot be truthful. Which means that if they were to have an open discussion with you, they would look like idiots, because they cannot talk about their personal experience. Which is why they're not willing to have an open discussion, because they're hiding something. And it's why so many people are walking away from these narcissists. Many narcissists may be in positions of power, and they may have a lot of connections, but they're still paranoid of losing and struggling, even though they already have the advantage, and that they've kept all of these people in reserve for future use. They've got all of their flying monkeys doing their bidding, They've brainwashed so many people. They've turned everyone out there into NPCs, into non-playable characters. People who are lacking independent thought and are blindly following popular opinion without critical thinking, without questioning or expressing unique viewpoints, to where they've become nothing more than a character in a game, and this game is being controlled by the narcissist. But even outside of the narcissist, you can't have discussion with anyone because most people these days hold very inflexible and extreme views, whether it's on politics or COVID vaccinations, in which they are unable to see another person's perspective because they're not using critical thinking. They're not analyzing the available facts, evidence, observations and arguments in order to form a suitable judgment. And it's the same thing with these narcissists. You're lucky if they will talk to you at all, while well, you're the one who is trying to have an open discussion or debate. You're the one who is trying to understand, but they don't want you to talk. They just want you to stay silent and comply. They don't want you to say anything that goes against their narrative. If you don't comply, you will be attacked. You will be smeared. You will be fired from your job. And you may even be killed. Which of course is a very extreme response. And yet, they may seem as though they're trying to find the truth. But if that was the case, you could have an open discussion. You can't have an open discussion with a narcissist because they've got a lot to hide. Which is why they will silence and smear you because they don't want free speech. They don't want you to express your opinions because you're not willing to go along with their narrative. You're not willing to go along with the things that they promote and encourage. Which is why if you try to have a discussion with them, they will shut you down. They will call the police on you. Even though no one is going to threaten them. No one is going to attack them. No one is going to do the things that they've been doing to you. So why are they so threatened? With someone who has an idea or opinion that is the opposite of theirs. The reason why is because they know their line of reasoning is not valid or reasonable. 
It's not logical or consistent. It's not in accordance with the facts. Which is why they do anything they can to avoid you. They don't let you talk to them. They don't let you call them. And they may even block you on social media because it's too challenging for them. They see it as though you're calling to prove or justify something, to dispute the truth or validity of their argument, to get them to show up, to get them to be easily seen and clearly visible, and to show the degree to which they have the necessary strength, intelligence and bravery to succeed in the face of adversity or difficulty, to where they could then demonstrate their ability or worth, but they don't want to do that. And that is why it's very difficult to have any respect for them because they're constantly ducking and dodging. They're repeatedly avoiding answering questions or dealing with a situation. They've refused this straight answer and they're moving in order to avoid contact because they're hiding something. They've done something wrong and they're trying to evade the consequences for their actions by staying away from you and by not giving you a straight answer. While behind the scenes they're indoctrinating everyone that indoctrinated people who may have once had rational thinking. People who 10 years ago may have been a lot more rational than they are today. But now, you can't even speak. You can't challenge their ideas and opinions because they're not even going to stand behind them. They're not even going to defend it. They will crouch down in fear. They will run and hide. They will smear you behind your back. And they will get their flying monkeys to do their dirty work to shut you down, to mock and ridicule you, to make you look like a fool, to make you look like an idiot, when anyone can see that they're cowardly. They're lacking courage and spirit. They're mean, covert and unprincipled. And they're too eager to avoid having an open discussion because they're scared. And yet, they take no accountability, they're not responsible for anything, while they continuously pressure you to do something they hold you accountable and they force you to comply. Which is why it's difficult to have any respect for them. Because they're like con artists. They gain people and systems for selfish gains, but no one ever calls them out in it. And even if they did, they won't let anyone challenge them because they're cowards. They know that if they stand on their ideas, they will lose. They will fail miserably. So instead, they silence you. It's like playing a game of chess, and when they start to lose, they flip the board on you. Because they know they're not a worthy competitor. They know they won't be able to defeat or establish superiority over you, and it provides a lot of information about them. It makes their opinions, characteristics, and situation very clear without the use of words. Because you can never criticize them. You can never tell them when they're wrong. You always have to agree with them. You have to walk on eggshells. You have to avoid dealing with difficult subjects or problems instead of confronting them. While they are constantly changing the definitions of words so that you'll never win arguments. And they'll always look like the victim. And you will always look like the oppressor. While they're making these rules that only benefit themselves and are completely unfair to you, which is very toxic and abusive, it's extremely harmful and damaging and yet they will also blame and shame you for any damage that they cause which isn't difficult for them to do because many of their fly monkeys may have Stockholm Syndrome they feel bad for their narcissist and they become attached to them they've lost their moral compass and they believe anything the narcissist says so they encourage destructive behavior where there's no accountability on their side because they're against free speech and they're against open debate. Which is why it's always their victims who want to have the discussions. It's the victims who are bringing facts. Narcissists are not bringing facts. They're just bringing emotions. They're bringing anger and hatred. While they're accusing you of being hateful. Because they lack self-awareness. They can't even see that they're rejecting. They're doing to you what they're accusing you of doing. And that is why they want to silence you. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. 
If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book it one on one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.